Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. If you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I've got a video here on the Odin Pro 2. What an handheld it is. I've had it since December. So I'm just going to run through some of the emulators, the best emulators in my opinion. This for gaming is fabulous. Seven to eight hours playing before your battery runs out. So the battery is, is really impressive. So starting at the top here, Terry 2600 emulators. I do recommend these. Now, some of these emulators are by Robert Brolager. Have a look on the Play Store. Once you've set one up, basically they're all the same, apart from the Commodore 64. Now, I will put links in the description because I've set a lot of these emulators up. So if you're new to Android emulation or you're new to this, the Odin Pro 2, just take a look at the videos. So one thing I like about these emulators is you can put different games in different files. As you can see, I've got homebrew because there's that many homebrew games. So like, as you can see here, Atari Volume 1. And that's easy. All you have to do... Just with your download file manager, put them wherever here. You say create for them. That's if you've got own brew games. Next emulator, of course, is Ethia SX2, which is the PlayStation 2 emulator. Let's have a look what I've got on there. Now, this is not available anymore on Play Store, but it's easy. Just Quick Google search a APK file and you will get so all you now all these games you can see all run perfect. I don't even have to tinker about with the settings. So there we are. Still putting games on, but a lot of these are my favourites and I've had no issues whatsoever. Even Sega Rally and it's quite hard to emulate Sega Rally, but I will give you one tip. With Sega Rally. When you're playing it. And I've seen a lot of issues on here on, on Google. If you go to your settings there. System. Which graphics. This GPU render. You have to use it on software. As you can see that. Software there. So if you're using Sega Rally, make sure software's clicked on. But I usually everything else OpenGL. But with Sega Rally, for some reason it won't run. It's in like black and white. It's all glitchy. I'll come out to those. So like I said, them are my games. Just close that out and go back in it. Like I said, them all my games. Black runs perfect. Right, we'll come out of there. Next, we've got Neo Geo Pocket. That's another one by Robert Bregler. So it's basically the same again. Now, Dolphin. What I want to show you, I've got two emulators. This is what I use for my emulation. Well, my games. I've got a USB. So I just click it in there. Because what it is, we a lot of these... That PS2 game could take quite a lot of memory up. I have got a 512 gig, but what happens here is I'll just click on Add Games. Once you've done this, Like I say, you don't have to do this again. Once you've added your games, you can just click your USB. You can just take it out. So there's my games, all my favourites. A few games there as well I've never played. But like I say, a great catalogue of GameCube games. Most of them run fine. There's a few, just a little bit of slowdowns. 90% of these, they run fine. Next, we've got 
the uh, Dreamcast, which is Red Dream. Perfect, run absolutely perfect. No issues whatsoever with these games. So there's my games there. Like I say, all my favourites, a few. I love the Dreamcast. Absolutely classic game on there. Next is Yuzu. Now this has been taken off Play Store. But like I say, quick Google search APK. All these run fine. Like I say, if they don't run well, I take them off. But like I say, all these, what you can see here, run with no issues whatsoever. It says 70% of my games. And off the eShop, they'll have retro games. Because they'll have my retro games. Like I say, I've got a few, I've got the Mario's on there, the Mario Kart, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, that one works fine. Next we've got Citra. The same, no issues with these games. Your Mega Rail, like I said, same against by Robert, Robert Belega. So you can put all your, now one thing with this one, it does run Master System and Sega CD. And as you see, I'll open up. And as you can see, I put my 32X in my folder. It doesn't run Game Gear, but I'll show you on Retro. I use Retro for that. But like I said, I've got my Master System in there. And then I've got that a collection of Streets of Rage acts. So like I said, you can put them in folder. You cannot put all your games in one. But because there's that many, you know, I want to just play a Streets of Rage act. And I can just open that up and there they are. Click the arrow at the top, that takes you back. Same with the snares, that's a, another emulator by Robert. So, what? We haven't got a folder set there, I don't know why. There's, as you can see, my own Brie games, my Mario Kart acts, my Mario World acts, they're in folders because I've got tons of them. Then we've got Yaba Sanshiro 2 Pro, which is the Sega Saturn. A few issues with these games. Like I said, some of these. There is a few glitches with some like Sega Rally. It's got graphic issues but they all work pretty 90% some work fine like I say all my favourites are on the love the Sega Saturn then we've got the PSP which is PSP Gold I've no issues with this this thing runs these games fine there's all my PSP games need to add some more We've got Spectrum emulator. So this is the ZX Spectrum. Definitely no issues of running these. Like I say, as you can see, all my games are in alphabetical order because there's that many games on the ZX Spectrum. And I have done a video how to organise your ROM. So have a look at that. I'll put it in the description. Then moving over to Duck Station, which is the PlayStation 1. No issues. Also, these games run at 4x. So they look pretty crisp. I have done, as you can see, resolution scale 4x. So they look pretty good. Then we've got the Nintendo 64 emulator, which is also on Play Store. No issues with this. I think I've just got every game going here. There's not many I don't think I've not got. Like I say, that's the M64 Plus. Then we've got MAME, which is arcade. Got thousands of games there. They run smooth, no issues whatsoever there. 
Then we've got Game Boy Advance, another emulator by Robert Rolega. Same again. I've got my own brew in a fold at the top, as you can see. Game Boy Color and Game Boy. So what I've done here, I've put them in folders. So these are the Game Boy Color. Then we've got Game Boy. And then we've got my own brew games as well. We've covered Dolphin. We've got the Commodore 64. Now this one, if you want to run this, you need a BIOS file. Like I said, I've done a video on that as well. Also, it runs VIC-20, Commodore 16. It runs cartridge games. Like I see, you see my folders there with my different games in. Then we've got Drastic, which is DS. No issues whatsoever. I've done another emulation setup on that. Then we've got Ateroid, which is an Atari ST emulator. No issues whatsoever. There's that. We've got the Nintendo Entertainment System. Same again. Oh, no folder set. Right there. This is because there was an update. When there's updates, you've got to find your ROMs again. Now you can see, I've got my different folders with different games in. I've got my Menez Axe, all of that, all that Axe. Then we've got Retro Arch. I have done a video on this. Now on here, we have the Amstrad CPC, we have the Atari 520, we have the Atari 780, the Atari Lynx, the Wonderswan Color, the ColecoVision, the Amiga, I've done a video on that, Vectrex, we've got LCD games there, the Philips G7000 or the Odyssey 2 in television, uh, Sega 32X, Game Gear, uh, Sega CD, Saturn. We've got the Sega SG1000, although you might not have heard of that console. We've got also ZX Spectrum because on the one I've just showed you, some games don't work and on here they work so. I've not really set the PlayStation 1 up because I prefer up station. Then we've got the MSX emulator. Same again, that's by Robert Brega. See, it's had an update, so... Where's my ROMs? Oh, yeah. Same again, it runs MSX2 as well, so I've put them games in a foot separate for them, my own brew games. Then we've got another... Spectrum emulator, Specky Deluxe, which it's all right, this, but it takes ages to upload your ROMs. So I only use that if, say, like a game doesn't work on the uh, Unreal Specky or the one I use on RetroArch. This one tends to run everything. We've got a Coleco Vision, but I've also got that on RetroArch. We've got a Saturn emulator, which is quite new. So I've it's, it has a few issues. I've done a, an emulator setup of that, but I think it needs a few more updates. And we've got an, another new one by Robert Blager, which is the Atari Lynx. I've also got that on RetroArch, but I've downloaded it on here. So basically, that's all the emulators. This, like I said, this thing is absolutely a fabulous handheld. I absolutely love it. I'm not knocking this one, which is the, needs a bit of a dust in that. Not been on it for a while, which is the Audi Pro. So, if, you know what I mean? If you're looking for an handheld, this is quite expensive, but it's worth it. If you, wanted, if you can't afford that, there's always this. And then there's this little thing, which is the Retroid Pocket 3. I am planning on getting the 4. But, so that's it. If you have any issues in the video, any issues with this, sorry. Just put it in the comments.
like I said, I've done a lot of videos how to set the emulators up. So like I say, if you know you've just bought this and you've no clue what you're doing, then I've done quite a lot of videos covering it and I'll put them in the description. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your gaming and I'll see you soon.